So here we have the Kia Sportage on a 19 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase that space even further. And then underneath this tray section, even more space if you need it. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we've seen the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and the fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 15,153. We've also got a digital readout for the speedometer in that central section as well. You can change that information by using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer info. And there are other menus available as well. So satellite navigation, tire pressures, user settings, and then back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was just using a moment ago are here. We've also got cruise control and speed limiter over that side. And on the left-hand side, we have stereo controls through the middle, phone controls at the bottom, and voice activation as well just there. Of course, you can't use the phone controls until such time as your phone has been paired up to the car. And that is done on the touchscreen in the center. Hit uh, all menus, and then you can either hit the phone icon uh, just at the top there, uh, and follow the instructions on screen. When it comes to music in this car, we have the radio, of course. Uh, so we've got uh, DAB, FM, and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You do that by hitting the media button just there. It's grayed out at the moment because nothing is connected. You can connect up a USB device. You can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. And if that USB device that you connect up happens to be your smartphone, this car's also got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, depending on the device that you have. We've also got satellite navigation in this car. There's a full video that shows how that works that you can find both on our uh, website and also on our YouTube channel as well. If I pop the car into reverse, you'll see that we have a full color reversing camera with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image that you see on the screen. So it does make it very easy to park. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo. These buttons here that you can use uh, instead of the touch screen, should you wish to. And then below that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. Uh, when you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning on now. And the same button again to turn it off. Uh, the settings, incidentally, obviously you can adjust them down here, but they all show along the top of the screen. So you can see the temperature that you set for both driver and passenger. Uh, so you can leave it in that manual mode or hit that button and the car will take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you asked for. You can hear it doing that in the background now. To override it, just readjust the fans and put it back on whatever setting you want it on here. Under that, we have heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. Two separate 12 volt charging sockets there and the USB input in the middle of those. We have a six speed manual gearbox. And then finally, these two buttons here. So firstly, this one turns on or off the parking sensors. And this one turns on the downhill brake control for the car. So if you know you're going to take the car off road, uh, hit that button before you do so. And it will come up on here, if I hit the button now, that you've turned downhill brake control on. Press it again, turn it off. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.